It's these images taken in California of what looks like a tornado in amongst the wildfires. Now, this wildfire is still raging, but these images were taken over a week or so ago. And this looks like, uh, as I say, a tornado, and is sometimes called a fire-nado. But that's a bit misleading. As it says at the top, it's not actually a tornado. It looks like one. It behaves like one. Mm. But the main difference here is that actually it's formed from the ground up, whereas tornadoes are formed by clouds coming down and wind spiraling and spreading out. This is more like a dust devil that we've talked about on this program before, where the air is sucked up and because of the heat creates the rising air. The air rises up and, of course, wildfires generate their own winds. Uh, winds, if you like, are just Mother Nature trying to balance things out. And, of course, you've got extreme heat with the fire and it's cooler nearby, so it generates their own winds. One of the many reasons why they're very difficult to tackle wildfires, because the winds are always swirling around all yep. over the place. But you get these local effects and the winds start to spiral, as well as the air rushing up, and you get that formation of what looks like a tornado, a column of air that's rotating, and they can have devastating effects. This one uh, allegedly had winds of over 140 miles an hour, so similar effects to a tornado. And, of course, you've got the fires around it like that. It just, just doesn't bear thinking about being mm. anywhere close to that. So that is what we saw there, a fire whirl, or uh, a, a fire devil, rather than what's called sometimes a fire nado. Now, this is the actual fire that's still burning in this part of California, near to Redding. The distance here from Redding to Douglas, um, Douglas City is about 37 miles. So you can see the fire, this image taken this morning, so this fire is still burning two weeks later. It's about 35 miles across by 25 miles across A as huge well. area. A huge area. Uh, one of the deadliest and largest fires of the season in California.